Warning. The Not Real Art Podcast is intended for creative audiences only. The Not Real Art Podcast celebrates creativity and creative culture worldwide. It contains material that is fresh, fun and inspiring and is not suitable for boring old art snobs. Now, let's get started and enjoy the show. All right, guys, today's show is a special one. I'm super pumped about this because today is all about our 2021 Not Real Art Grant for Artists, and we're going to reveal and announce our winners, our six lucky winners for our 2021 grant. And let me tell you, this was tough. We had 827 applications this year. That's up 485% from last year. This is our third year, and I couldn't be more thrilled that there was so much interest and so much energy and passion and excitement about winning our grant. Now, what do our grant winners win? Because it's not just about the money. And in fact, you know, a lot of grants, not only, you know, they give you the money, but there's all kinds of strings attached. And, and by the way, a lot of grants, you got to pay to enter to even win the grant, which sucks for artists who, you know, are struggling to make ends meet most of the time anyway. So our grant is very different. Our grant is free to enter and our grant, yes, gives you money, but it, there's no strings attached. You can spend that money however you want. You can spend it on your artwork and your practice. You can pay your rent. You can buy groceries. You can go to the dispensary and get some flour for all I care. And I think that's important. It's important to lift up these artists and empower these artists with resources they need however they want to use them. But it's also not just about the money for us with our grant. We really tried to create a platform for our winners, help them tell their stories and promote their work across all the channels that we're in. We have them on our podcast. So you're going to be hearing from them in the next few weeks and months on this very podcast. We're going to interview them for a future article on our blog. So you'll be able to read about them at notrealart.com in the next few weeks. This year, they get a really cool trophy for the first time. We haven't done this before. And we're working with our friends over at Pretty in Plastic to create a beautiful, cool, artistic trophy that people are proud of and want to display and put on their shelf. The winners just become part of the Not Real Art family and they'll be a part of our events and our exhibitions and things that are coming down the road. I'm stoked for these winners. We really want to create a platform for them to help them tell their stories and promote their work. We want to elevate them and celebrate them and empower them through this grant not just about the money, but helping them tell their stories and promote their work on our podcast, on our website. But of course, this year with 827 winners, I mean, we, for the first time, had semifinalists and quarterfinalists. So we're creating some cool prizes, consolation prizes for our quarterfinalists, our semifinalists, and you know, even our finalists. Because we had 10 finalists, and then we had to pick six winners out of that. So let me explain that, how we did that a little bit. So we had 827 applications. We had 10 judges, right? Each judge got a, f- a portfolio containing about 80, 85 artists and their artworks. Each artist submitted online. They submitted a written application. They submitted about three to five artworks. So we had four or 5,000 images of artwork as well to review. So each judge got about 80, 85 artists, which was about three to 400 images and their written applications. And so each of our 10 judges had to pick out of their portfolio 12 artists based on their visual, based on the submitted imagery of their artwork. They had to pick 12 artists initially. So the first cut was 120 artists out of 827. Those were our quarter finalists. And they were selected just based on the imagery of their work. Then once those 120 quarter finalists were identified, our 10 judges read the written applications for each of those 12. And based on the written applications, which yes, of course, we're looking at experience and we're looking at, you know, various shows and and the various uh, experiences that these artists have had in their careers and in their practice. But we also ask questions that help us understand who they are as people, as human beings. What are their values? What are their ethics? Are they humble? Are they arrogant? 
you know, because we're looking for artists that are obviously not just brilliant and talented, but also who share our values just represent who we are too. And so from those 12 uh, initial quarterfinalists, based on the written applications, the judges narrowed it down to six. We then had 60 semifinalists. So then what happened, each of the judges swapped folders. So if I picked as a judge, if I picked six semifinalists, then I handed that over to my colleague, the other judge. They gave me their folder. We all swapped folders and we all looked at with fresh eyes those semifinalists that were chosen by the other judges. And then I had to pick, or the judge had to pick one, one out of the six to become a finalist. So we ended up with 10 finalists. It was so hard, guys. The competition was stiff. The talent was just world-class. We had 827 amazing artists. How do you pick six winners out of 827? Well, this is how we did it. This is how I want to share how we approach the work. So you understand that we Work very hard to make it fair, make it as objective as possible, make it efficient, make it just. So each of the judges swapped the folders and then each of the judges picked one out of the six semifinalists to to nominate as a finalist. So we ended up with one finalist per judge, 10 finalists. And then of all of the judges reviewed the 10 finalists, their written applications, their artworks, and we all voted for the six winners of our grant in 2021. Boy, was it hard. The talent, the, 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 the level of skill, the level of, of, of passion, uh, of experience. I mean, talk about 10,000 hours. Yeah, we had, we had 10,000 hours. We had 20,000. We had 30,000 hours even. We had artists with shows who were in the permanent collection in, at the Whitney, for example. But we had artists that were younger and, and up and coming who show great promise, great talent, but, you know, but they're starving too. You know, how do you pick? How do you pick from an artist that has was well established in their career versus an artist that's just coming up, but who shows great promise and talent? So it was tough. It was tough. We had a lot of debate and a lot of hand wringing. I know there's going to be a lot of artists out there who are going to be sad and disappointed. And I, you know, believe me, if we could award, give money out to all the artists, we would because you guys all deserve it. It's gut wrenching and heartbreaking to have to tell anybody that they didn't win. As happy and as exciting as it is to tell the six winners that they won, it's equally heartbreaking to tell the other 821 artists that they didn't win because we care. You know, these are human beings we're dealing with and and angels among us at that because they're artists and artists are angels among us. At least that's what I believe. So there you have it. That's how we did it. Now, listen, if you want to read about who our judges were, you can go to notrelot.com, click on grant and read all about our judges. Our 10 judges were amazing human beings, a cross section of experts in the art world who have different points of view and who have eclectic backgrounds, people who look at art differently depending on their perspective. We had, of course, artists, we had art lovers, we had art publicists on our panel of judges. Man One, my dear friend and colleague, partner, long time, 20 years, Man One artist, curator, gallerist. He was a judge. Cheyenne Saunter, the executive director at Art Share LA. She was, she's been our partner. Art Share has been our partner for three years now. And Cheyenne's been a dear friend and partner in all this. Uh, Aaron Yoshi, incredible artist, friend, host here, co-host, guest co-host on the podcast from time to time. And just an amazing human. Uh, Mona Lisa Whitaker, incredible artist, been on the podcast She's been a past judge. Last year, she was a judge, did a fantastic job. We asked her to come back. Heidi Johnson, art publicist, hijinks PR here in LA. You know, nobody knows contemporary art, the art scene better than Heidi. She was awesome to have as a judge again this year. She was a judge last year. So we were grateful to have her. Julie B, pretty in plastic. You know, Julie's an incredible artist, but she's also an incredible entrepreneur and a fabricator. And she works with top artists and companies to fabric design and fabricate collectible toys and designer toys and even awesome trophies and awards for companies like Spotify. And so Julie is an incredible artist as well. And so she's an amazing judge. We're grateful to have her. Francis Anderton, design arts journalist from KCRW, host of the show DNA here in LA. And, you know, she's an amazing intellect and human. And we're grateful to have her as a judge. 
Joshua Waddles, intellectual property attorney. I was at DeviantArt for 15 years as chief counsel until they sold to Wix. He was a speaker at our conference. He was a judge and a big art lover, art collector. And we were grateful to have him. And of course, Badir McCleary. Man, oh man, this guy knows his stuff. And we were grateful to have Badir. We've been wanting to work with Badir for a long time. And we were so honored and grateful to have him. Uh, as one of our 10 judges. Uh, And of course, last but not least, yours truly, for better and worse, I was a judge as well and helped to nominate one of the 10 finalists. It was a process, guys, heavy lifting. I think some of us lost some sleep over this, quite frankly. That's just because we care. You know, we care. Everybody puts our heart and soul into their artwork, so we don't take it lightly. But all that being said, I'd like to announce our 10 finalists before I announce our six winners. So in no particular order, these are not alphabetized. It is just a random list here of 10 finalists. And if there was a drum roll, I might, there might be a drum roll. Let's see. No, that's not a drum roll. That's not a drum roll. No, that's not a drum roll. That's certainly not a drum roll. That's not a drum roll. Certainly not. Oh boy. Okay. That didn't go well. (laughs) Forgive me as I learn my sound effects. All right, guys, without further ado, the 10 finalists in no particular order, Nadia Duff, Daniela Garcia, Jessica Sally Carrington, John Chang, Sharon Kagan, April Winter, Natalia Villanueva, Albert Willis, Felicia Maynard, and Carmen Mardones. Congratulations, guys. You're our finalists. And... We're just so honored to have you as part of the Not Real Art family. Congratulations. Your work, your passion, your expertise is world class. And we couldn't thank you enough for being a part of this process, becoming a finalist. Congratulations, guys. You earned it. You deserve it. This means I got to announce the winners, the six winners, which means four of the finalists are not going to advance to the next round. And for that, I am. Very sad. It's a bittersweet thing. But if there was a drum roll, I would play it because I want to announce here once and for all the winners of our 2021 Not Real Art Grant. But before I do, I just want to shout out to our past winners because, you know, we're in our third year. You know, we've had some incredible talent. In 2019, we had Taylor Covello, Marguerite Calor, Beth Abarovich. Edmund Arvalo, Juliana Bustillo, Karen Ferrito, Jesse Noguchi, Rachel O'Donnell, Maria Belserio, Evan Eldridge, Monica Leal Cueva, and Anthony Luis Juice. We are so grateful to have them as part of our Not Real Art family. In 2020, we had some amazing artists as well. Incredible artists in 2020. We're so grateful to have them as part of the family. I want to shout out to Gershon Kramer, Jacqueline Valenzuela, Chiara Aline Machado, Miki Yokoyama, Paloma Montoya, and T.R. Williams. Love you guys. Now, I know you guys are like, come on, sourdough, get with it. You're messing with us. We're waiting. You're teasing us. All right. Well, the wait is over, people. The winners of our 2021 Not Real Art Grant are Nadia Duff, Daniela Garcia, John Chang, Natalia Velanueva, Albert Willis, and Carmen Mardones. Congratulations. We're so grateful to have you as part of the Not Real Art family. You guys deserve this. We're so grateful. Congratulations. You guys are incredible talent. Thank you for being part of the Not Real Art family. You're going to be on this podcast with me. You're going to be featured on the blog. You're going to receive $2,000 in prize money. You're going to get an amazing, beautiful trophy to display along with some other goodies and wish you guys nothing but the best. So congratulations to our 2021 Not Real Art grant winners. God bless. Godspeed. Over and out. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. Please be sure to like this episode, write a review, and share with your friends on social. And if you haven't already done so, please press the subscribe button and follow us on Instagram at NotRealArtWorld.